Yeah. All right. Now, um, I'm sorry. I gotta move on because we have other ones we have to go over. So, if you guys look at this, the main important thing, guys, when you're always looking at one, is again rotate. If this looks so confusing because it's often in this angle, rewrite it so it looks a little bit like a parallelogram. All right. So I'm just gonna re-rotate it like this. I know that that's five, that's five, so that's ten. I can call that my base. Now remember, opposite sides of a parallelogram are the same. So you can write that as 10, but it doesn't really matter. You just need the base. Now, it says we have a right angle, but that's just a 30, and that's a 60. And they say this distance is 5. OK? Now, let's go ahead and look at what does a 30, 60 triangle represent. And this is something we went over in Unit 8. Now, when dealing with 30, 60, 90 triangles, um, remember we had a 30 degree angle and a 60 degree angle. And in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, we had the hypotenuse, which we all had to know how to find. We had the hypotenuse, the short leg, and the long leg. Now what we started with was the short leg. Oh, and the short leg to the hypotenuse was 2x. And the short leg to the long leg was x times the square root of 3. Now in this case, we don't have x. We actually have a number. All right. In this case, we have the long leg is 5. So. Same exact triangle, this is 5. Now again, let's go back and review. To go from the short to the long, you multiply by the square root of 3. So to go from the long to the short, you'd have to divide, divide by the square root of 3. So to go from 5 to the short, I'm going to have to divide by the square root of 3. Shane, um, Shane, could you sit in that desk and turn it around, please? Thank you. So. This side leg now is 5 divided by the square root of 3. That's going to be your height because this side is now 5 divided by the square root of 3. So to find the area, it's going to be your base times your height, 5 divided by the square root of 3. Now this is a whole number times a fraction. You just multiply across, so it's 50 divided by the square root of 3. Now, you can use your calculator to approximate. Mostly when we're doing uh, area, Guillermo, we're going to be approximating using our calculator. However, just because I know you guys need to know how to rationalize the denominator, I will rationalize that so we don't have a radical on the bottom. And if you wanted the exact answer of the area, it would be 50 times the square root of 3 divided by 3. However, in area, we're usually going to be dealing with units, like centimeters, meters, feet. So you actually can just use your calculator to get the exact answer and then approximate it, OK? But that is at least how you find the exact answer. All right? Yeah, Makes yeah, sense? I said nothing. A little bit? Yeah. Huh? It's all gone. Everything you just did <laughs> just disappeared. What? What disappeared? Yeah, you know, yeah, you, you started bringing up the 